Hi, I'm Carlos Gaitan uh, from Suco, and I'm here to provide an amazing, an amazing uh, recipe from my mom, which is the cochinita pibil for home kitchen gourmet. You know, uh, cochinita pibil uh, for me is really amazing. It's very special. Uh, it's a recipe from my mom. She flew from Mexico to Chicago to try it and give me the approval and she gave me the two thumbs. <laughs> she creates pineapple vinegar that she makes herself, and it's amazing. Um, it has a little bit of almond, cinnamon, cumin, not as spicy, you can taste the flavors. But you know, I think I'm very blessed just to have that recipe in, in my restaurant. Every time that I cook that recipe, it's just like giving you a piece of my hometown, giving a piece of my mom, you know, making cochinita pibi. Thank you so much, Chef Carlos Gaetan, for allowing us to use this recipe at Home Kitchen Gourmet. That's clearly part of your childhood and so close to your heart. Without further ado, let's get cooking. Cochinita Pibil. Step one, place dried peppers in a bowl large enough to hold twice the amount of peppers that you have and cover with hot water to rehydrate. Step two, steep peppers in hot water for 10 minutes and drain. Reserve water to add to the blender when creating the pipil. Step three, rehydrate garlic using one half cup of water from the rehydrating of the peppers. Step four, in a small saute pan, add cumin, thyme, cinnamon stick, and almonds. Heat over medium flame until lightly toasted and fragrant. Keep them moving constantly for about two minutes. Step five, add to blender rehydrated peppers, rehydrated garlic, toasted spices, ground black pepper, cider vinegar, pineapple balsamic vinegar, and five ounces of the rehydrating water from the guajillo peppers. Step six, blend on high speed until a soft paste is achieved. This will take at least two minutes. Step seven, chill in refrigerator until cold. Step eight, pat pork dry with paper towel. Step nine, season each piece of pork with kosher salt flakes. Step 10, add canola oil to pan. Step 11, heat pan over high flame and sear pork quickly in the hot saute pan to brown. Step 12, remove pork from pan. Step 13, while the pork is still warm, slather chilled pibil on both sides of pork. Step 14, wrap each piece of pork in a banana leaf and refrigerate for two hours or up to eight hours. Step 15, preheat oven to 300 degrees. Step 16, place banana leaf wrapped pork packets on a baking sheet and bake for two hours. Step 17, Remove packets from the oven and allow to rest for 10 minutes. Step 18. Remove pork from banana leaves and serve over your desired side. And now, simply enjoy. <laughs> 